payback um, where we can go over our picks again. Uh, of course, Lewis leading the charge here, uh, 40 and 13. Brian now is 31 and 22, and I'm 28 and 25. Uh, Brian was three for three on the night. Brian, Lewis was four and two on the night, and I was two and four on the night. Um, let's get into the matches. Uh, started off with a banger, of course. Um, a surprise to us all. Surprise, uh, surprise. Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus in a steel cage match. And I said this in the chat. For six months, we got shit. <laughs> for six months of WrestleMania, this has been the drizzling shits in terms of promos, in terms of entertainment, in terms of everything. I've said from the start that the only person that was getting over in this match was Zoe Stark. I felt like she was building herself and having good matches with Becky Lynch and playing that foil as the as the heater to Trish. I thought she was the only one getting over. But this steel cage match is up there as one of the best steel cage matches of all time, and then that's saying something. Not of all right? time. Not of no, all. No, that time. was a pretty good steel cage match. Not that was a pretty good time. steel cage match. Going too far with that. All right, <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe no, women's no. steel cage match. Women's steel cage match. Not of all time. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go first okay. on this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because uh, because I was because I was the one uh, that um, after after watching how great this match was with the way that Daniel just uh, uh, broke it down, I was the one that made the uh, very controversial comment in stating that this match may have topped the WrestleMania performance of both Rhea Ripley and, Sh and Charlotte Flair. I didn't. I didn't make that comment. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Be because. Brian. <laughs> because <laughs> now, everybody, now, I, now I saw your comment, Lewis. Stay off the weed, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy. but um, <laughs> but but in watching this match, like going into this match, uh, nobody expect nobody expected that. No one expected, and the standout out of both of them was, was Trish. On honestly, mm -hmm. you know, this, you know the craziest Lewis, thing is this is her first steel, steel cage match. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope she was taking mm -hmm. the, the the bulldog from the top row. The suplex that Becky Lynch gave her were, were pulling her back into the back into the cage. Mm -hmm. um, not on her the man slam from the top. You know, all all, yeah, of, all these books that all these that Trish is taking, and then you saw the photo photo after the match of her bruised up, bruised up and such. I mean, the quality of this match was, was just top notch. But I will admit it. It has nothing on Char on Charlotte and Rhea, okay? <laughs> want, <laughs> okay, we just want to get that clear. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. But 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 as a steel clear. cage, but as a steel cage match, it may it may not be the best steel cage match of all time, but I will say yeah. it is a top five steel cage match. Women's steel cage match. You, you, don't, you don't think so? You want to put this steel cage match on par with some of the top men's steel cage matches that you've seen? I would put it. In, I, I would put I, it. In I'd have to go. I mean, come on. I mean, this is WWE. I mean, with their, their steel cage matches, the whole their psychology when it comes to steel cage matches has always been, been very poor. Uh, no, the whole point mm -hmm. of the steel cage is to keep people, keep people, keep people out, keep the action inside. But, but yet, yet outside, always it's, manages it's always to get in. So <laughs> everybody so gets in. That, that's ruined the quality. That's ruined the quality of a lot of steel cage matches that they've had in like the past thirty years. So you, you, you really can't think of any like really great top. steel cage matches. <laughs> <laughs> Need to put a top on it. Just yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd have to look or, at. Or just say pinfall or submission for the win. No escape the cage bullshit rule. I think they yeah. should do that. I think they should do that. But um, yeah. When you're thinking about steel cage matches, obviously you think Bret Hart, Owen Hart, ninety ninety four SummerSlam, um, that blue steel cage match. I always think of Triple H versus Mankind at SummerSlam ninety seven. Um, the Rock versus. Was it Austin after WrestleMania? The birth of the two-man power trip? Was that it? Mm. I don't remember. I thought that was intense at that time. I, um, you, you know what? I never saw it. You posted this clip recently, Dan, was Rikishi jumping off the top of the cage. I've never seen it. loaded 2001, I think it is. That was against Val Venus, right? Val <laughs> Venus out of all people. No, not that was a that was a good match, man. <laughs> that was a good match. Like that shit was crazy. I, like, I, I always love the Eddie one with Eddie. um with Eddie jumping off the top of the cage onto JBL. First JBL. He's with JBL. That was, I that. love yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. That's a great angle. That's yeah, the thing with, with steel cages. It's not like Hell in a Cell or like other 
gimmick matches. Like, there's been so many. If you think about it, there's mm-hmm. so many steel cage matches. So that's why I'm like, yes, this was a great women's steel cage match. But I feel like there's a plethora of steel cage matches to compare it to. I think I think <laughs> the expectations were so low. Oh, that's that's what that it is. The result that's what it is. It's so great. That, like where it's like, yo, this is great. Like we. <laughs> I that's feel like exactly that's what, what it, it was. Is. But it's like I gotta I gotta watch it. I'm gonna try no, to watch no. it back. But it's like I need I need to rewatch it. But I I don't think anybody expected that match to be as good as it was, and it was really no, like, like I was no, actually like, on the edge. Like, I said like, I said Jesus. earlier when it started. Hey, it's lucky that the cage can work for you because it was kind of starting off whatever. But mm. then as it started building, like all the little spots they were doing, I was like, okay. And and to get that out of Trish Stratus, like yeah. and especially what we've been seeing, mm-hmm. like all of them. She's still going, all of them. It's like they it's like they it's like they've been it's like they've been sleeping for six months and then like they just saved it all yeah, like, like, everything that they could have put into and everybody's like six everybody's like, building it and putting it into the match. Everybody's like, oh, this is what it was supposed to be at SummerSlam. Was it? <laughs> was it? Jesus. <laughs> Were we gonna get that type of match at SummerSlam if it had been at SummerSlam? If it had been at SummerSlam, they wouldn't have gotten the same amount of time. So you wouldn't have gotten no, 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 that's, no, that's, that's very true. That's very true. And that's the one thing I want to say about this card. I like the shortness of the cards. I felt like yeah. that gave every storyline a chance to breathe a little bit. So that was an added effect to it. Um, but this was a, I thought this was a pretty solid match. Showed why uh Becky Lynch is at the top of the game, even though I'm not the biggest Becky Lynch fan. That was an entertaining match from her. The manhandle slam off the top rope. I thought was dope. Like, oh shit. Like <laughs> that was told pretty impactful. You feud, told you this feud was over after this match. <laughs> you were right about yeah, that. Really, you were yeah, right, you about right. now because I really, I really did thought that. But I keep on forgetting. Vince isn't in charge anymore. It's Triple H. So, <laughs> had it been, had it been Vince, had it been, you, you, got Vince you got everything. You got everything. You got Becky with the win. You got Zoe. Zoe leaving Trish, and it's like now she's going there with Shayna. It's like. <laughs> And that's like the perfect <laughs> ending to a a shitty long. <laughs> we got the feud, that we I guess. Were supposed to get. Like, thank God. Um, if only, if only every feud was like that. It was like, ah, this is trash, and then you're like, wow, what a banger of a match. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. <laughs> hey, we did get a a ring lifted. Shit. <laughs> Uh, but we can move on to the next match here. L.A. Knight versus The Miz. Uh, yeah. Uh, with John Cena as the special guest referee. A lot of interactions back and forth. We're getting a little teasing between L.A. Knight and John Cena. We'll see how that goes. Uh, well, what are your thoughts on this match? Of course, L.A. Knight picking up the win over 